ready to set our bracelet here. We, this is our new bracelet setting and also our Swarovski collection. Uh, this is the article 1088 Chaton in the Delight collection. We're ready to set these guys into the bracelet setting. It's pretty easy. Uh, you just need your channels plier. So I decided to go first with the light grey delight. What you need to do is you put it into your setting, it will fit nicely and you will need a chain nose plier to close the, prong, the prongs. You should hold it tightly and close in opposite direction. So suppose this is the 12 o'clock direction, put your chain nose plier on the side and just give it a gentle squeeze. Just make sure that the prongs sit nicely at the side and then go on to the opposite direction. So we are finished with 12 o'clock, so this will be the 6 o'clock direction. Hold it and give it a squeeze from the side. And then we move on to the 3 o'clock direction. Hold the stone and give the side a squeeze. And then last of all, the 9 o'clock direction. Hold the side and give it a squeeze. So we are done with the first stone. Now we move on to the second stone. The next one, I'm inserting the cappuccino delight. So 12 o'clock first, and then followed by 6 o'clock. And then the 3 o'clock. and then the 9 o'clock. So it's always in the opposite direction so that your stone doesn't pop up when you insert them into the casing. The next one, I'm going to use my Burgundy Delight to be the center attraction because I find it more vibrant. You don't have to exert a lot of energy, just give it a slow press so that it is tight on the side. You can see that the side is actually covering and covering the stone nicely. Make sure you don't exert with too much energy and it cause the stone to break. So I have done my bracelet. Of course you can wear it like that and that's it. But I prefer it to be more sparkly. So I'm going to add some channels on the side. These are Swarovski channels in SS29. They are single stones um, that could I intend to hang it over here to give it, you know, it, it just act like a dangle. Nice. What I'm using here is size 4 jump rings. Okay, two pliers will do the trick. It'll be easier for you if you have two channels plier. You insert it um, right in the middle of the stone. Okay, and then followed by the stone and you close your ring. I'm actually adding this little dangle in between my chatons that I have done. It has it gives me that sparkly dangle when I'm wearing it. Um, I just like it to dangle like that so it moves. Do the second one.
Okay, just make sure that all the rings are close up nicely and there you go. And my bracelet is done. So I have this four sparkly dangles in between my five chatons. When I wear them on my hand, it will just drop down naturally and I like, I like it shaky. So that's it and hope you will like my bracelet. Thank you for watching.